Dear colleagues, um, welcome to PCR Live 2021. I am Dr. Adela Mignon. I'm an invasive cardiologist working in CHU Charleroi in Belgium. And it's my pleasure and a great honor to present you some insights about the disco radial trial together with Professor Saito from Japan. The radial access is increasingly used for coronary procedures, but even for non-coronary procedures. And is currently becoming the preferred vascular access worldwide. This is due to the fact that radial access as compared to femoral access is associated with a reduced risk of vascular complication, major bleeding, and even mortality in patients at very high risk, such as those presenting with acute coronary syndrome. The radial artery and radial access is currently recommended by the European Society of Cardiology as the preferred access route for coronary procedures. And it is also recommended by the American Heart Association as the preferred access route, especially in patients with acute coronary syndrome. The distal radial access is a relatively new vascular approach when you can get access to the very terminal part of the radial artery. And you can get access in a triangular area which is located at the dorsum of the hand and it's called the anatomical snuff box. Here we can get access to the terminal part of the radial artery, which is the distal radial artery. This relatively new vascular approach has several advantages. First, uh, it leaves the wrist of the patient in a more comfortable and natural position. It is also more comfortable for the operator, especially if you use the left distal radial because you can still put the hand of the patient at the level of the groin, and the operator doesn't have to bend over the patient, which is more comfortable, of course. It is an alternate, an alternate seat uh, if the common radial artery has been used. It is a potential seat for retrograde um, canalization, recanalization of the radial artery. Thanks to the very superficial position of the distal radial artery, it is associated with a very short and easy hemostasis. And uh, most of all, um, this new vascular access is associated with a reduction in forearm radial artery occlusion. Finally, it is associated with a very large enthusiasm uh, by the radial community, despite the paucity of clinical evidence surrounding this uh, new vascular approach. The current evidence regarding distal radial access has been currently limited to intermediate to large size registries that have shown a consistent reduction in hemostasis time and also very low rates of uh, forearm radar artery occlusion. In fact, uh, one of the main advantage of the distal radial access is to get a puncture distal to the superficial palmar arch. In such a case, in when you when the distal artery is occluded, or in case of compression of the distal radial artery, the flow will be maintained in the forearm uh, radial artery, decreasing thereby the risk of retrograde thrombus formation. And that explains the very low rate of radial artery occlusion, which was observed in these registries. This has been confirmed in two recent single center randomized trial, showing a significant reduction in the risk of forearm radial artery occlusion when you use a distal radial as compared to the conventional radial approach. That could represent a major advantage of this new vascular approach because it is very important to keep the patency of the forearm radial artery for future procedures. Currently, uh, several large registries are ongoing, but uh, the disco radial will be likely the first large multicenter trial uh, in this setting. Hello, my name is Shigeru Saito, a Japanese interventional cardiologist, and I'm focusing on transcendental coronary intervention. We have done a rapid, uh, rapid beat clinical trial that was uh, comparing the uh, five French introducer and the six French introducer for conventional radial approach. And we had uh, 1,600 patients randomized between two arms. And uh, uh, interestingly, the, we have found, you know, 2.6% of patients uh, 
radial artery occlusion after transradial approach. And so uh, we knew that the how to prevent the radial artery occlusion should be the very important point for those patients. And uh, we know that the uh, by doing the uh, distal radial approach, the instance of the radial artery occlusion can be uh, decreased. That's why the, we have decided to start this disc radial clinical trial. In this trial, we are comparing uh, conventional radial approach versus distal radial approach. By doing uh, this clinical trial, we can show that the uh, distal radial approach will be makes a big benefit to the patient. Because, you know, even after the several times uh, coronary intervention through distal radial approach, we can still uh, preserve the, the pulse in the radial artery. And that means we can uh, add another uh, transradial intervention from the conventional radial artery site. That is a major benefit for the patient. And also, the, if the patient has a, a chronic renal disease, sometimes we need the uh, radial artery access for the few uh, coronary intervention. And that patient may have the future hemodialysis. In that case, the distal radial approach can make a benefit for the patient. In contrast to the very extensive data supporting the use of conventional radial access, the rates of successful cannulation, procedural complication, clinical outcome, and overall safety of distal radial access are currently limited to relatively uh, small registries and only two small single center trials. There are some concerns uh, that have been expressed regarding the very rapid uptake of this um, new vascular approach, a phenomenon that is possibly uh, promoted by social media. So the goal of the Disco Radial uh, is to provide a very important multi-center trial that will randomize patient one-to-one -to, -one to receive um, the distal radial access or the conventional radial access. The primary endpoint of this trial will be the uh, occurrence of radial artery occlusion. Uh, and this is a superiority trial. We want to show that uh, distal radial access is associated with a significant reduction in radial artery occlusion. The other very important strength is that this is one of the first major multi-center trial that will include up to 15 centers in Europe and one big center in Japan, the center from Dr. Saito. And as such, it will provide a very important um, insight and information about the clinical benefit and limitation of this relatively new vascular access. On top of that, it will give a very important snapshot on the current standard of care and outcomes of distal radial access in very experienced radial centers are around the world. So I hope that this trial uh, will, uh, is currently ongoing and uh, we expect to have the results um, in the next few months. So uh, please keep posted. Thank you very much for your listening and hope you enjoy PCR uh, 2021. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much to take time for us. Uh, I believe that you can understand more about the disc radial clinical trial and uh, uh, have to enjoy, you know, the, the, the remaining part of the uh, Europe PCR 2021. Thank you. Bye-bye.